This is an example for CVP analysis, also known as break-even analysis. We've got a pretty simple example where we're going to do um, selling some speakers. Uh, this can be with just one type of speaker. Price is $250. Variable cost is $150 per speaker. And we have fixed expenses, approximately $35,000 each month. So we have a few questions. What's the contribution margin percentage? What's the break-even point? And then create a CVP chart. So first thing I'm going to do is come down and figure out some percentages, uh, which is uh, crucial in our break-even analysis calculations. So I'm going to divide uh, the price by the price. Price will be the base all the way through. So I'm going to absolute it on B16, enter. Drag this on down. So we end up with 40% contribution margin per unit, $100 as far as uh, what we have left over after variable cost. So for each speaker that we sell, $100 will go toward covering our fixed expenses. Another way of looking at it percentage-wise is that for each dollar that we sell, $0.40 cents will go toward covering our fixed expenses. Once we hit break even, for every speaker we sell, $0.40 cents will go to the bottom line or $100 will go toward the bottom line if you want to look at it that way per speaker. So let's start off with a very simple um, process to help start building our uh, break-even point along with our chart. For volume, we're going to start off with zero volume. So the sales will be $250, and we're going to use that $250 column B for the next two columns over. So I'm going to go ahead and do a mixed reference on B16, and I'm going to hit F4 several times until I get to dollar $B, which is fixed on column B, row 16 times the volume. And I'm going to, uh, again, do a mixed reference on 24, where I'll make uh, the row 24 fixed. So I'll hit return. I'm going to drag this on down. Fixed expenses won't change, 35000 Net income will simply be your contribution margin minus our fixed expenses. Total expenses, we'll use this in the CVP chart later on. Simply fixed expenses plus our variable expenses. So, break even point in units, real easy. Fixed expenses divided by our contribution margin per unit. We need 350 units to be sold each month to break even. If you think about it, 350 times our contribution margin of $100 equals $35,000. There's your break even. In dollar terms, you can take the $35,000 and divide that by the contribution margin per unit. That's $87,500. To check the answer, $350 times our sales price, $250. There's the 87500 again, checkpoint. So for the volume, we're going to uh, set the next point as our break-even point in units, 350. Then coming out to a second point on the uh, chart, actually a third point, we'll multiply the break-even point by 2. This will give us a straight line from 0 to 350 to 700. Now we can simply take all this information drag it across, our fixed expenses, I'm going to absolute it, drag that across, drag this across, and total expenses, same thing, drag this across. So as we go through this, uh, this is what we're looking at. We're going to now go through and build a break-even um, chart or CVP chart, the three lines that you need to plot will be sales, which is this line, fixed expenses, along with total expenses. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to highlight all three of them, and the way I'm doing this is I'm holding down the control key as I drag across, and I've got all three data series highlighted right now. Now I'm going to go up to Insert Chart, which will be a line chart. And I've now got a chart which shows sales, 
fixed expenses, total expenses, and we have the dollar amount over here, down here on the x-axis, what I want to do is grab the volume. So to do that, I'm going to right-click on the x-axis, uh, select data. I'm going to edit the axis, the horizontal axis, and the label range will be on the volume. Notice changed immediately, do OK. Then I'm going to go in and add titles. So let me see, layout, uh, I'm going to do uh, axis title, horizontal, below the axis. This will be volume. And what we're going to do is do the vertical axis. And this will be uh, dollars. And then also find the chart title uh, above the chart. And this will be called the CVP analysis for Corman speakers. And I don't need the apostrophe in there, so I'll get rid of that. And if you notice now, the break-even point is where the sales and the total expenses cross each other, where they intersect. That is the break-even point. And um, anyway, it's that easy to construct a CVP chart from all this data. Hope this helps. Have a great day.